That is cool. So tell me how you did it. You cut the top out of that can. So I cut, so three, cuts. That. I cut three cuts out of the can so I have a lid. Put, pa put holes and then put paper clips through it for the grill part. You made like a barrel stove. Yeah. And so it has a lid. And then what did you use for the grill? I used paper clips and then I put a hole in the bottom for airflow. And this paper is clips for the grill. There's a a hole, hole in the bottom for airflow. There's a hole right here too. And then there's and a hole, hole on the end. And then you use some apple pellets. Yeah, just is what you're burning in there. That Well, that's just what you had. If that's what you had, yeah. So can we roast something on it? Uh, these pellets do need to take, but, like, we could roast, like, marshmallows. Well, why don't you run and get some marshmallows? We'll ro roast a couple marshmallows on there. This is the stove that Austin built. We're going to see here in a minute if we can actually roast marshmallows on it. Apple-flavored marshmallows. I'm about it. I might have to go find a Hershey bar and a cracker to go with it. Yum, yum. This is the cutest freaking smoker stove I've ever seen in my life. Looks just like a mini, 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 mini Traeger. I'm telling you, this is the cutest little stove I've ever seen. Get off to the side here. You can see how the lid closes down on it. We're about to do some marshmallows. Did you find something to put the marshmallows? Oh, you got shish kebab sticks. Perfect. Make mine golden brown. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Apple smoked marshmallows. Okay, pull it out. Don't burn it. I like mine golden brown. Just keep putting them back in there until it's all melted in the middle. Oh, my gosh. This is the cutest stuff I've ever seen. Here we go. It's getting golden brown melted in the middle. All right, I'm going to have to shut this thing off because I'm going to have to eat that thing really fast. Can we put it between a chocolate chip cookie or a graham cracker? You got to go get this, though. I'll get it. All right, I got to go. Here. Bye. We got it going on now. The fire from this we got the graham awesome. crackers. We got chocolate melted onto the other graham crackers. Those are the tops. Those are the bottoms. We got pellets in that ashtray. We got pellets going on in the stove. We got marshmallows over there. We got Austin, the master marshmallow cooker. And we are, one, we are on to some famous mini Traeger chocolate melted Grimm. s'mores. Yeah. We got it going on. Thank you very much. I've decided this is not a mini Traeger. This is a minuscule Traeger. What does that even and mean? And he can cook marshmallows that are golden brown on the outside, totally melted all the way down to the stick. And if I eat any more of them, I'm gonna be sick. But they are so good. Just plain, without the chocolate. They're just perfect. This boy knows how to roast marshmallows. And see his new haircut? He got it cut along the natural part, and it's hanging right, and it looks so nice. And he got the sides and the back cut short again because he's hot, and it's gonna be really hot in Idaho. And he's going there on Wednesday, so he's all ready for hot weather, and I'm going to miss him while he's gone, but he's got to go do it. Got to go help Scott and Anine. Got to ride that four-wheeler. Got to catch those bass. And Got to figure out with Scott how to capture the tilapia. I have a plan. So they can actually have a meal of tilapia. You don't catch them. You capture them, and Scott's tilapia are at the perfect filet size. 
and I hope they bring me some back when they come back for my dough. Because I love American grown tilapia. I do not like Chinese tilapia because they poop in their own water. And I know Austin will not poop in the water. He's just going to catch them and bring them to me. I don't know, Keith. I might. I'm loving life. Real tilapia that's not been pooped on with human feces like the Chinese do. Yeah, goodbye.